Hi, I'm Dylan. I work here on the prop team at GTXR, and today I'm working on our nozzle extension for our booster for our upcoming rocket Zero Girl. Started machining last week or so, haven't had a whole lot of progress this week, but today we're looking to get a lot done towards it. In addition, Connor is working on his mini motor, which is our freshman projects team to introduce new members to propulsion and let them get familiar with the concepts before working on the more motor. It's been a lot of fun working with GTXR for the past few years, and I hope you'll be able to join us and help on the team. Hi everyone, my name is Keon, and I'm this year's propulsion lead on Georgia Tech Experimental Rocketry. Today we're here at the machine shop working on motor hardware for our new booster motor going on Material Girl, a two-stage sounding rocket aiming to fly to 150,000 feet. Today we got Sabrina and Alfio working in the machine shop getting the nozzle throat, the graphite nozzle throat made, and we got Dylan working on the nozzle extension. These are really important components that help our rocket fly and they're making really great progress this week. Alright, so today we're testing our rocket motor in a static fire, which is when we mount the rocket motor upside down in a test stand and we light it. First to check if our if we can ignite it properly, and then we also determine the forces that will be produced by the rocket motor. So we measure like thrust, measure the pressure inside the inside the motor, and that'll give us a, a good idea of how the rocket is going to perform. So one of the most critical parts of the static fire is the data acquisition system. So that's going to be what's actually collecting all the data uh, that we're looking for. So that's temperature using thermocouples, pressure using pressure transducers, and then the actual thrust that the rocket motor is producing using a load cell. So we're going to use all that data and compare it to the simulations that we've already run to make sure that the motor is behaving exactly as we expect. And then we're going to also pump it into some more programs that we have to actually design the fins that are going to go onto the flight rocket. Another critical part of our system is the rocket ignition. Safety is critical here because this is a huge rocket motor. Um, you don't want to be anywhere near it when it fires. So we have two independent triggering parts. First of all, there's 200 foot string attached to pull switches, which actually physically arm the system for that it's impossible to fire. After that, we have a thousand foot long fiber optic cable that goes to our ground station downrange where we actually trigger it from the data acquisition computer. 